After taking care of Red Boy and Yaksha King in New Game Plus 4, well, it was time to challenge another annoying boss. And this is the player's all time favorite, the Supreme Inspector. I'm just kidding. Uh, but with an interesting build this time around. So there's a reason I chose the build, I'm gonna explain why. First of all, by the way, regarding the spirit, ignore it. I definitely recommend choosing something else. I'm gonna talk about this in a moment. Now I went with thrust this time because the boss is very evasive. Uh, with the vessel, we're gonna go with the fan because of the wind, so we can cancel the second stage, so it won't be red. Here, as I told you, we're gonna go with something else. There are different options, we're gonna talk about this in a moment. Now, this is the main thing, of course, the armor. Now, the reason Gelgard Beast uh, armor set is very good here is because, well, we're going to do lots of dodges here and preferably perfect dodges because this boss is very aggressive and some of the attacks, well, you need to dodge. So we have two perks for actually uh, reducing cooldown of spells and for getting focus points. And also, as you can see here, uh, we're covering moderate amount of mana as well which is a unique effect for this particular uh, Greaves. All right, so basically I'm using all of that because I basically plan to dodge quite a lot and do those perfect dodges. In terms of Curious, extra damage, uh, uh, synergized with Cloud Step. Second one is for defense, extra defense. Third one is gonna be for shock resistance. And the fourth one for extra attack damage uh, once we deal light attacks. Now with the uh, Gore, they didn't use the 60%. Uh, so again, you can have better than what I have right now. Uh, but basically 10 zips. And we're getting skill tree and relics, everything fully upgraded uh, completely. Again, we are looking at new game plus four. This is not base game, I repeat, new game plus four. Now, I recommend starting the fight with duplicates. It's not a must. It's pretty costly, by the way, but you can actually get quite a lot of health, a chunk of health out of this boss at the beginning uh, if you are if you're doing it right. Basically, you need to be aggressive and try not to get hit so you won't get stunned. So I actually targeted me because probably I did it too late. Before that, I did it and actually targeted the clone, not me. Yeah, he was actually on the defensive side, so I didn't get a lot of uh, like HP out, but it's okay. The most important thing to pay attention, once you have heavy, go aggressive on him with thrust, because thrust uh, with this weapon is going to also chop the knives out, so it can deal pretty good damage. But most importantly, try to dodge well, because you can get rewarded for this. Keep in mind that already in shock state, you can actually see it, so I'm getting extra damage, so watch out when you're actually kind of a uh, lightning animation on HP bar, watch out. Now exiting uh, a cloud step and attacking for extra damage with the knives. Now, in terms of transformation, uh, it's actually not a bad one, but probably would have gone with something else. And I'm not focusing with the build on the transformation. An extra bit of uh, damage would be nice. Usually, I don't get too much. Usually, I just have a transformation kind of SOS button, just not to die in case I'm really getting low. I'm just saying. Yeah, so we got some nice damage. Cool. Now, the reason also that this um, armor is good because I'm making lots of mistakes, but basically if I dodge, I bet to dodge, I kind of get the extra resources and the most important thing for me, of course, getting the focus points so I can put those uh, hard hits on. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty problematic. 
as you can see my mana is already very low so i'll be basically dealing with lots of dodging from the boss attacks and you can see here how much time i need just to avoid and i can't really put anything in it's crazy well this here of course is just a uh, bad performance but if you do well and avoid it you're gonna get very rewarded of course by uh, using this armor i just just perform really badly here so usually in the kind of fight you say right and enough dodging at least if you dodge and you're gonna dodge a lot in this fight at least get rewarded if it's better Finally, second stage, uh, I'm going to use the wind now to clear it up. Now, the moment you do this, be very aggressive and try to deal as much damage as possible and charge your focus points. As you can see, I'm far from mastering this fight, and uh, of course, if you do well, especially when it comes to dodging, uh, you're going to be rewarded for this in this fight. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm not performing well, but still, uh, you'll be able to do well if you are dodging and doing, especially doing perfect dodges. Now look how much time it takes me to get another hit of the boss. He just evades all the time. Take a look how much I get from the dodge. If you look at the bottom right, it's a big chunk. Yes, overall, this is a fight that you can really benefit uh, from this armor. So you can have fun. I mean, at least if you're already dodging, at least get something from it rather than, all right, when the next time you can actually deal damage. So again, if you can charge, of course, extra focus points and get other extras, it can be very good. Uh, overall because you at least gaining something when you're dodging and you're going to dodge a lot in this fight i told you before about curios uh basically i personally would go with extra heavy attack damage because i'm already charging my focus points and again the chance you're going to get to hit the boss you want to put those heavy attacks in especially if you're going with thrust uh for the range rather than trying to keep up with the boss because it's always moving so that can be a good thing so if you want to go with that, go with the turtle uh, treasure. All right. Again, remember three and four. So again, if you dodge well, you're going to get the three or four and then you can enjoy this extra damage. You can also go with the um, red herd Yashka, uh, moderately increase heavy attack damage. Yeah, basically I would prefer something about heavy damage myself. And um, that's about it for this video. I hope you find this one useful. Give it a try. Again, if you dodge well, we're going to get rewarded and this is something different it feels very good for this fight especially we're going to dodge a lot hopefully perfect dodges have fun thanks for watching everybody like comment and subscribe and i see you very soon on the next guide cheers